One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a absolutely beautiful 1976 Dodge D30. It's actually a Club Cab 300. I think these were a D series back in this day and age. It's got the 440 motor. This is an absolutely gorgeous truck. It's got a little bit of patina all over it, man. The rust is down to a minimum. There's just a couple tiny little spots, and I'll show you up close. Just not really much to talk about at all. Um, this thing is a super clean California rig. It actually hasn't even been registered since 1991. I'm going to do a quick once around and kind of show you. Man, people just seem to want to call me the minute I start doing a video. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh well. Mr. Call. They're just going to be out of luck. Okay, so that's going around it. Love the white sticker decal paint or whatever it is on it. And used to have some things going down the side. And I'm going to just do this once around and let you see what it looks like. And then we'll go up close, look at any damage, dents, dings, tears. You can see a tear right there in the fiberglass fender. It is the dually and it is the club cab, which is super cool. Buckets with a console. Buckets with a console. Now, I was told it's a one owner truck. It's a barn fine truck. That's for sure. It was found in a barn up in Ventura, California. And this truck is just absolutely gorgeous. If you're interested, you can call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can also check it out on my website, oneownercarguy.com. should be about 50 to 80 pictures of it on there. I just want to interject to say that a Mopar was harmed during the filming of this video. This right here, man. Just going by the trailer and just, just a little bit of a swipe. Probably the worst thing in this truck. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. But now that ding and this little ding is in it with a slight little smudge to the grill. And this may be just a slight little hair, but I don't know if I was from before with this one or if I just didn't notice. Just throwing that in because that happened. It never happens around here, but it sure did happen. And other than that, subscribe to my channel. I do all kinds of videos every week. Look at that peel out one. Straight Mercedes Benz wagon right there, baby. That is Mercedes Benz wagon peel out right there. Okay, let's show you underneath and get to doing this review. Front plate is bent and that could easily be fixed and pulled out underneath it. Man, this thing is dry. It's not leaking all over. It's a nice clean rig. You can see just from the bottom of that oil pan. This is a nice clean rig. It's got cobwebs and stuff. We haven't really knocked it all off there too good. And you see grease in it, just on the zerts for the things. This is one clean truck, man. It's clean. The chrome, pfft, look at that chrome. It is clean, it is really clean. Beautiful shape, there's a ding, bend, or whatever you want to call it, in this bumper. The pot metal, aluminum, whatever it is, grill is in good shape. A couple dings in it, here and there. Here and there and there and here. Just stuff like that. The black, of course, is just fading over time like it does on all of these. Um, but the grill is in great shape. Um, I'd fix it up, paint the ring, shine it up. Done! This truck, I had a hard time figuring out what I would do with it. What would you do with it? Leave it patinaed out? Or stink and paint this thing and make it beautiful? I even thought back to original color. With white stripes and Dodge signs and stuff. Undercoating and everything on it. Look at that, man. Just a nice truck. Clean! So clean. No rust in these fenders at all. Look at this. Beautiful. Little rock chips and such. Now, you can see the patina on the edges. Just a patina, a little ding right there. Patina all over the hood. No rust through in anything anywhere, except you get over here. And right along this piece on the hood, that's your rust on the hood, right there. Stinking weld that thing up, grind that thing down, skim coat it, done. A couple dings, kinda right there maybe. You're bringing that out. Um, and then these little spots right here. Must have set underneath a, something and got wet at some point. Uh, but that's that, that's all you got on the front. I think it's machine, machine? Yeah, it's machine. The rain drip molding type stuff here around the wiper surround or whatever you want to call it. You got some choices to make. You take these things off or do you get some big old dual antennas whipping in the wind? I don't know, but that's gonna be a choice you're gonna have to make because I don't gotta make it, because honestly, it was really getting to me to have to make this choice. 
Um, mirrors. Let's talk about mirrors. In fact, let's just leave. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm not doing this review. I got stuff over here. Let's see what we got. You see the roll bar on the truck? I got all kinds of stuff too, by the way. All kinds of stuff. Okay, I got some extra stuff here. And I'll definitely give you one of those. Um, I got this bumper guard here. I thought there was mirrors. Okay, I walked over here. Here we go. We got a couple sets. These don't go with that, but I think they're set up for it. I think these, wow, look at that. That's a serious mirror. So I don't know what mirrors you want. These could be the original ones, but I don't know if I've got both of these things. I don't know. I got a, a bunch of mirrors and I got that extra tail light piece there. And that'll just get thrown in. I got this piece to go over the, the back also, diamond plate. So that's that. That's, that's the deal on that. This is the, the peel out bins of the future. So now back to the Dodge. And you can see you got the roll bar stuff in the uh, top of that up there. Man, this thing looks so nice painted out. Just this factory color with white accents and white roll bars and stuff. Ooh, buddy. Okay, right back where we, we are right back where we started. So, door, patina type stuff everywhere around the surrounds. Doors open nice. Roof, great shape, patina everywhere. Basically no paint left. Clearance lights, a little bit of chippage on the edge of these. But you gotta have clearance lights if you got a one ton, right? That's just, is that a rule somewhere? Is it in the driver's manual? I think it is. Um, tinting starting to come off the, so I don't know if this is factory tinting or added, I have no clue. I'm guessing added. I'm thinking they did something right here because there's kind of a line. It looks like they kind of primered it a little bit and we're gonna do something and they just never did, which now is just perfect to leave. Look at how clean that is. Honestly, I believe they must have done something here because there's a little bit of, looks like there's a little bit of prime on this stuff. It almost looks like they started to do something. I don't know, I have no clue. Hole in it right here. I don't know if it's drilled for something or what, but it's an actual hole. It's not rust or anything. Um, chip in the fender there. And underneath this thing, it's just clean. This is one clean truck. Big rear end, buddy. This guy just put a set of tires on this thing. He was telling me about, look at them new front tires, and he sure did. Um, these things have just been put on there. Little titties everywhere. Just little titties everywhere. He just put them on. Um, look at that tread. Look at that tread! Give me some expensive tires. Now these here, plenty of tread, just put on and all that, but they got a little dry rot in the edges. So I don't know if you go with the same type, type of wheels or with the chrome rims, rings, or what you do. That's what you're dealing with there. Um, looks like this is just a little bit of something from a dent. And could use a little bit of, oh, there's a tear in it right there. Just right there, tiny one. It's like he did in this piece right there. Yep, there you go. Sorry, I didn't look down and see that right there. Right there. Lens is in good shape. Dang it, little crack right there. Across the tailgate, good shape. Reflectors. Um, this has got the... Yeah, typical bed problem with this bed hitch in the middle there. But typical tailgate needs the rods in the back. Kind of done with the pliers or whatever. That pops right open. Actually, my guy had it open for me. Clean bed is what I'm trying to show you here. Very clean, not rusty anywhere. He had it laying down to where I could take pictures, and I just walked up and slammed it. <laughs> then I remembered that. Dents right there a little bit. A little bit of patina starting in here. This is how it should look like on the other side. This side has not been dented. And a couple holes. Look right here. Right here. Must have a topper on it or something. Because there's three or four holes in it. Even the rubber. Liners are still in there. Now check this out. This thing ain't been registered since 1991. Whoo, buddy! Now going down this side, the little dings I showed you there are the main thing where he like tapped it somewhere. There ain't no real dings. There's a tiny ding there. There ain't no real dingy dings. A couple chippy dings right there. But it's super, super straight. Glass is good. And man. 
Coming down this side. Look, wow, he had reflectors here too. This guy had reflectors everywhere. Hey, look at my reflection, he said. Let me reflect on this. This piece is chunked out. You can see it's all beautiful up in there too. Not rusty, man. And even by the fiberglass where everything bolts on, where you would expect all the rust. No, it's not there. Another hole here. See, I don't know what he's doing here. This has something coming up on it. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a smart man. I don't know. That roll bar is in great shape. Sand that thing down, spray it white. Yeehaw, buddy. Okay, roof drip rails and everything are in good shape. Um, coming around that, everything's in good shape. There's a couple dings, like a ding ding. Tiny right there. And let's just say that the body is not absolutely perfect. A little tiny ding, but it's getting pretty close. It's just not been hammered. A ding there, a ding there. Chips, what am I talking about? Chips though, I mean, the paint's pretty much patina halfway. So, you know, a ding there, a ding there. And yeah, on a truck ding there. On a truck like this, I'm being awful picky to bring that stuff up because it's just, what it is but it makes a perfect patina mobile man who buddy does it ever okay so that's your exterior let's say i've um, got these split wheels on the front that look good but it's definitely an older style wheel it takes them 16 ply or whatever kind of 7.5 16 lt tires uh, the tires tires running out of house and home but they do have a weight rating and they are a monstrous tire okay so that's your truck. That's the stuff. I showed you all this. I showed you the couple things. There's a split right there I showed you. Just wanted to make sure to come back up on that and make sure you see everything. Um, I can't say nothing bad about the truck. The thing is a nice truck. I'm going to do test drive type stuff and all that here when the sun goes down a bit and we can get a better look at it. Um, one owner car guy. One owner car guy.com for all sorts of pictures. 60, 70, 80 pictures. Something like that. Subscribe here on YouTube for all kinds of weekly videos. My God, this truck looks good. If you're interested, 406 546 8748. Trying to think of anything I can tell you about it other than that. As far as the exterior goes, I can't think of nothing. 440 76 Dodge Club Cab, one ton bucket seats with the console. Clarence lights, dually. Bam. That's all them things. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com